welcome to another edition of Tasker 101 Tutorials. This is Eric from HollywoodPhoto.com. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, creating a profile that will trigger a task based on the uh, content of a text message. Based on specific content of a text message, but uh, you can use it in different ways. Um, so here we go. We're going to create a new profile. We're going to name that one one um, emerge text just abbreviating there and it's going to be based on an event now we're going to choose phone then we're going to choose received text uh, now this can be any MMS or SMS I'm going to switch it to SMS because what we're going to create, as you will see, shouldn't apply to an MMS. Someone's taking time to send a picture. Uh, sender. I'm going to hit the little search button. I'm going to say any contact. Now you could change that to be single contact, favorite contact, or if you leave it blank, then that means anyone who sends you a text message, whether they're in your contact list or not. Um, we created a profile similar to this uh, to read text messages and we chose any contact but we left content blank so anytime any of our contacts sent us a message it did something and the profile we created before it read the text message um, but this is going to be content specific so we're going to put the content here that we want to be in the text message I'm going to use an asterisk and then the word emergency and then an asterisk. Now the reason for the asterisk that tells uh, Tasker to look for this particular series of letters E-M-E-R-G-E-N-C-Y anywhere inside the text message. If you just put the word emergency with no asterisks then you would basically be saying if the text message is emergency meaning someone texts you just the word emergency. By putting the asterisk Basically, you're saying if the text message contains the word emergency. So anytime someone can sends us a text message and it contains the word emergency, we want this to happen. That's going to be it for the trigger. Now let's create a new task. We'll call this 101. Um, I'm going to say loud text. I'm going to hit enter. Let's see, 101 loud text. So from our first activity, basically I'm creating this so that, let's say I'm in a movie and I have my phone on silent or vibrate, or I'm asleep at night and have it on silent or, vi silent or vibrate, but someone I know who I've told this to uh, needs to get in touch with me and it's an emergency. So I've told them, hey, if you ever have an emergency, text me, send me a text with the word emergency in it, and it'll make a loud noise and it'll also turn my vibrator silent off so you can call me and it'll ring. So that's what we're creating. Uh, we're going to go to audio. We're going to go to silent mode and make sure it's off. So if it is in silent mode, I'll turn that off first. Then we're going to audio and I'm going to go to uh, ringer volume. Make sure that's all the way up. I'm going to go to audio again. This time I'm going to use uh, notification volume. Make sure that's all the way up. One more time to audio and go to media volume and you'll see why in just a minute I'll explain. Because you might think, okay, what does the media volume level have anything to do with emergency? Um, so now that we've done that, the next thing to do would be to actually play something aloud to make sure it gets your attention, right? And there are several uh, things you could do for this. Um, I'm going to show you one in this lesson, uh, and then I'm going to have a part B to show you an option. So the one I'm going to show you in this lesson, the media volume kind of will be irrelevant, but then in lesson B, I'll show you why that would be important. Uh, so we're going to go to uh, media. And we're going to go play ringtone. And you can play it as an alarm. We're going to play it as a ringer. 
and we're gonna if you leave this blank it'll just play whatever your ringtone is on your phone but we're gonna select a specific file so I'm gonna go media storage I'll bring up my ringtones automatically because of the fact that I chose ringer um, and I want to pick something that's really going to be good and loud. That sounds good to me. And we'll have it stream through the Ringer stream. And that's it. So if someone texts us and it has the word emergency, it should turn silent mode off, turn the volume levels up, and then uh, play that ringtone. So we can test it out right now. Uh, first I'm going to turn my volumes down. And then I'm going to go to Google Voice to send myself a text message. There we go. Um, so let's send this message. And you can see I've been testing this out. So, uh, let's send the message one more time. An emergency. Now we're going to hit send. And eventually that message is going to come through. It's the final so, that's how that works. Now just to show you that it only works if it has that word, you can see it raised all the volumes up. So I could send another message right now from the same account saying hello. And it's gonna I'm gonna get that text message. Text message came through. Text message from Eric Google. But that's all it does. It didn't uh, didn't trigger that uh, uh, profile. So that's uh, that's how that works. Um, basically, it turns off silent mode, raises your volumes, and plays the ringtone once. That ringtone could be just a good warning to you that hey, because you might tell that person send that message and then call me because you'll know that silent mode will be off and the ringer volume will be up. So that, that uh, you might want to pick a ringtone that's not quite so long or quite so obnoxious, but just to warn you, especially if you're in a movie, hey, there's an emergency and I'm about to call you. So you better get up and leave that movie. So anyway, that's, that's it for this lesson. Uh, and part B, I'm going to show you the other direction. What if you wanted to make it, because if you're like me, uh, when you're asleep, sound does not wake you up very quickly. So you want it to loop and play until you wake up. That I'm going to show you in, uh, uh, in lesson B. So uh, come back for that. That's it for this lesson. Uh, if you like this, please click that like button. Uh, if you learned something, hopefully you did, even if it's not a profile you're going to use, you learned something, especially about being able to use the content of a text trigger. And that has a lot of applications. You can... You could create one that if you send yourself a text, then it sends you back to the location of your phone. Or if you send yourself a text, it triggers uh, playing a song so that, you know, you can find your phone. Or it takes a picture or, you know, whatever. A lot of different things you can do. You could have it so that if a certain person sends you a text with a specific content in the text, it gives you a, a better notification or triggers something on your phone. So lots of implications. Uh, lots of different ways to use it. Uh, anyway, that's it. Uh, click like, share this with uh, anyone you know.
who is interested in Tasker on Reddit, Facebook, Google+, Plus, all those fun ways that are down there. Check out my channel for reviews of uh, Android accessories. I have uh, lots of Android app reviews, um, lots of fun things like that uh, going on over there. And uh, that's about it until next time. So have fun with Tasker.